Hello, welcome to another Good Life Guitar Tutorial. My name is Gareth Evans. Today, I'm going to teach you how to tune your guitar to D, A, D, F sharp, A, D, or D, A, D, G flat, A, D. Two different ways to say it. F sharp's the same as G flat, so um, they're kind of uh, interchangeable. And this tune is kind of like that guy, D, A, D, G, A, D. Now, the third string is a little bit different um, in this tune. And, but what I'm going to do first, I'm going to play all the strings for you. This is just an Dad, uh, D A D F sharp A D tuned guitar, and play all the strings for you. If you just want the notes, so that's what you're here for. I'm gonna try do that now, and then afterwards, I'm gonna tell you in detail how to tune into this guitar and also tune back out of this guitar into standard tuning. So here goes with the notes. Okay, so that's <clears throat> all the notes. I'm going to teach you in just a second how to tune down from standard to normal. Um, but first, I want to talk to you about the strings that I'm using today. I use Elixir strings. These are my preferred choice in guitar strings. They are my number one choice because of the feel of the strings and because of the tone, longevity, how long they last. Um, everything about these strings are just premium, which is why it brings me great pleasure to bring this guitar lesson in association with Elixir strings. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to tune from a standard tuned guitar down to um, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. So first thing, the sixth string needs to go down to, from an E note, which it is now, down to a D note. Okay, you've got a few D notes on your guitar for reference. The fifth fret on your, um, sorry, the fifth fret on your fifth string is a D note, okay? So it's if you need to get your sixth string to match that. The problem is that it's a different octave, so it's not always clear. The open fourth is another, same one. Both the same note. Fifth fret on the fourth, sorry, fifth fret on the fifth string, and open fourth, the same note, D. So we need to match that. So if we play the open six, Tune down. Round about there. Um, now, you'll notice what I did is I tuned right the way down. Do that again. Tune right down. Go slightly too far. And then tune back up a little bit. Because the last movement you want to make with your guitar uh, machine head is that you want to be tuning it upwards. You don't want the string to be relaxing as the last movement you make with it. You want the tune to be tightened as the last movement you make with it, which is why we go slightly below the note and then tune back up to get it. Okay, um, so that's how we get it. So that's the note you need. You need to match that with your string. The best way to match on your guitar is like the open fourth, like I said, or fifth fret on the fifth. Four. Fifth and fifth, that's right. Then all the same notes now. To get the same octave, if you play the harmonic on the 12th fret of the sixth string, there, should kind of sign the same note. Okay, so that's the sixth string done. We need to down tune the third string from what is now a G note down to an F sharp. Okay, so it currently matches the fifth fret on your fourth string. There. We'll need to get it to sound like the fourth fret on the fourth string. See how they're different from here down to here. So, try that again. Go slightly below, tune back up a bit. That's near enough. Okay, so that's your third string tuned to F sharp or G flat if you like to call it G flat instead of F sharp. 
Okay, the next thing you want to do is tune the second string down to an A note. Okay, it's currently at a B, so it needs to go down one full tone. To match it on your guitar, the best thing to do is play the open fifth. Okay? And then... It's round about there. Okay? To match it to your down-tuned third string, you're going to fret the third string on the third fret. Okay? It's only because this third string is tuned now to an F sharp is that that is true. It would normally be um, the fourth fret if it was tuned up to a G, if that makes sense. But now because the third string is down tuned, you're matching it, you're matching the open second to the third fret of the third. Okay, hope that makes sense. Now the last string you're going to down tune is the first string that's going to go from an E note down to a D note. And again, for reference, you're going to use the third fret. Sorry, you're going to use the fifth fret on the second string. Got confused a little bit there, but fifth fret on the second string is a D note. So is the open sixth, and so is the open fourth. But to get the right octave, it's easy to play to play the uh, fifth fret on the second string. Okay, so let's try that. Round about there, but again, try and tune slightly down and tighten it up to finish. Okay? That should be just about there. <coughs> Final tweak. Using a guitar tuner, which is an app on my phone. I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later, but that's just about it. For tuning the guitar to D A D F sharp A D. I am gonna go now into how to <clears throat> tune your guitar back from this tuning into standard tuning. So if you're practicing a song in this tuning, you want to tune down, you can use what I've just shown you for reference. And then afterwards, when you finish your session, you want to tune back up, you can use this next section for reference to tune back to standard tuning. Okay, so to tune back into standard tuning from D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. <clears throat> Firstly, sixth string, it's a bit low. Well, it's a bit low, it's in D, it needs to go back up one step. So to get the note that you need is the second fret on the fourth string. That note there is a D, oh, uh, sorry, that note is an E. So you're going to have to tune the sixth string to the same note. Roughly there, use the tuner to fine tune it or use other methods. Okay, so that's the sixth string done. <clears throat> Next, um, the third string needs to go up one semitone. So it should match the fourth fret on your fourth string now. Okay, it needs to match the fifth fret on your fourth string. Okay. So tune the third string up. That's the note you need. Pretty simple. <clears throat> it's now a G note. So top four strings are sorted. Second string needs to go up one full semitone. So it should match here. The second fret on the third string that you've just tuned. It needs to go up to this note. The fourth fret on your third string. So that's um, a B note now on the open second. The last note, uh, the last string is the open first, and it's to go up from a D back up to an E. So now you've tuned the second string in. Um, it should match the third fret on the second. Okay. You need to tune it to the note that matches the fifth fret on the second. Okay, which is there. That's the E note. Just round about there. 
another little tweak, and you've got standard tuning. And that's it for this lesson. I always um, <clears throat> recommend people check out a um, mobile app called G Strings, which is a guitar tuning app I've got on my Android. I always use that for quick reference rather than learn where the notes are. If you just want quick reference, use the um, G Strings app. And so long as you know what strings should be in what note, um, you can't go far on using a tuner. So that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. If it helped you, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.